there's Waymo, which is Google owned, there's Tesla, Mercedes, NVIDIA is building out an automotive division. Where are we in the hype versus reality spectrum for FSD? So FSD, full self-driving, this has been the holy grail on the auto industry for, I've got some posts on this. Self-driving is the canary in the AI canary in the coal mine, meaning it just takes long, it's taken a lot longer and it will continue to take a lot longer. But actually it's a little bit further up. The latest FSD from Tesla, 12.1 plus, is getting good reviews, but it's still level two. So what's level two? Government has a rating system, a level one to level five on the driving scale. So level one is where you drive with the steering wheel, attention to the road, you're doing all the driving. Level five, the thing drives you around like a Waymo. All conditions, all roads, snow, sleet, whatever. Waymos, which are the Google vehicles, they seem to be level five, but they're not level five in the sense that they're optimized and programmed for certain cities, certain roads, certain conditions. There's a reason why they're popular in Arizona and California. The weather doesn't change that much over there. And by the way, the Waymos cost because of the LiDAR sensors on them, which is a different technology for sensing things. That car that you see running around in San Francisco is anywhere from 100000 to $300,000. It's going to be a long time before it's mainstream. Tesla's, on the other hand, Elon said, I'm just going to use cameras for FSD, which is great. It keeps the car relatively affordable, $40,000, $60,000. And edge cases are still killing the dang thing. Tesla's are still level two, meaning you need attention on the road. It nags you to keep your hands on the steering wheel. That's level two. We're not level three. The only car that's level three barely on certain roads in Europe and now a couple of roads in America is Mercedes on their next $100,000 car, where the car can drive you a little bit on certain roads without your having to have hands on the wheels. That's definitely not consensus. Mercedes has like a PE ratio of five or six times earnings, and no one really thinks about Mercedes as level three. No, Mercedes, but level three, they have a level three. It's very expensive. When they're one of the top of the line sedans, most people aren't going to buy one of those. This is why Apple hung it up. Apple spent probably tens of billions of dollars on their Atlas program and the self-driving cars. Even they said, ah, we'll come back to it. And they basically wrote off the whole thing. Edge cases are very problematic, which is what we talked about before. The unusual things that can happen that you can't train for, etc. So Tesla, look, Elon is very aggressive still on predicting when he's going to get it, etc. It's still a... Elon has done a masterful job. He's made more money on self-driving than most people have made on AI. Over $2 billion selling 400,000 Teslas with FSDs run the road out of two and a half, three million. And it's barely level two. Every time I've been in on a self-driving car, it's like driving with uh, my teenage nephew. I'm worried about every turn he's making. I'd rather just drive the dang thing myself. It's not there yet. It will get there, whether it's three years, five years, 10 years. It is years, especially level five. Again, level five. Half the country lives in places where it snows, sleets, etc. Level five is years. It's not that straightforward. If your car is just with cameras, the dang thing needs to see the road. And if you are in rainy, sleety, snowy conditions, the efficiency of the FSD just drops precipitously, right? As you'd imagine. So you need all these other sensors, the LIDARs. 